Hi everyone, so I'm back with another great off-campus opportunity and this one is with Motorola. So Motorola is hiring for software engineering interns right now and it is a great opportunity to all of you guys who are looking for a software engineering internship because a lot of you guys are commenting on the channel saying bring internship opportunities, bring internship opportunities. So this is a great internship opportunity and let me tell you Motorola is one of the best companies to work at. It also even won the charts in 2025 best places to work. So this is definitely a great place to do internship in. So in this video, we'll be talking about the role. We'll be talking about how to get your resume shortlisted because that is a problem that a lot of you guys face. And we'll be talking more about how you can eventually clear the interviews and get this role. So let's get into it. Now, just a quick reminder that I make a lot of videos about off-campus opportunities, hirings, placements, and how you can crack them. So if you're a fresher or a college student looking for an internship or a job, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel because you'll be seeing not only a lot of opportunities, but you'll also see a lot of videos about how you can eventually crack them. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos. Now, coming back to this opportunity, it is for software engineering internship, like I said, and it opened very recently. So you have to apply ASAP and the link to apply is in the description box, but do not be in a rush to apply. Watch this video fully because I will be telling you how to get your resume shortlisted because I've been receiving so many messages on Instagram, on LinkedIn, from people saying that their resume is not getting shortlisted. And the reason for that is you're not putting the right things in your resume because every job description is different, every posting is different, every profile is different. So you have to make sure that your resume has the right keywords, your resume has everything that is correct and appropriate for the job. And that's what we'll be talking about right now. So let's talk about how you can get your resume shortlisted basically. All right. So for getting your resume shortlisted, the number one thing, the most important thing that you need to do is make sure that your resume is proper and ATS friendly. Now, a lot of people bring their resume to me and when we check their ATS score, it is 60%, 50%. So that is not going to work. You need to make sure that your resume is ATS friendly. You need to make sure your resume has the right template. And of course, I'll be giving you a proper template in the description box. Using that, you can make a resume. Apart from that, you have to make sure that the font is decent. You have to make sure there's no extra white spaces. You have to make sure there's no unnecessary space and you have to keep it to one single page. Okay. So this is very important that you make your resume ATS friendly. You have a proper template and basically your resume is proper. Now, the second thing is of course the content that you have in your resume. So the content is divided into two parts. First, you have the necessary keywords and then you have the necessary sections. So you need to have a good project section. That is something that is very important as a fresher or as a guy looking for an internship. The most important part of your resume is your project section. You have to make sure that you have high quality projects. You have to make sure you don't have clone projects. You have to make sure you don't have any projects that are not, you know, to the mark, up to the mark. You need to have some impactful projects or you need to have projects that match with the JD. Okay. So your project section is very important. Do not underestimate it. Now coming to the keywords part, I know a lot of you guys get confused about what keywords to put. So I'll be doing something good for you. I'll be putting all of the keywords that are necessary in the description box. So all of the keywords that are important that match with the JD that you need to put in your resume will be in the description box, all of the list of them, but do not put anything in your resume that you know nothing about. As I always say in all of my videos, the strategy is you can learn first and then put in your resume. So the keywords will be in the description box, but do not blindly put anything in your resume. And you don't need to put everything out of them. You need to put some keywords, but of course, don't put anything you don't know. Learn and then put that is a good strategy to do. Okay. So the keywords I'm giving you already, you need to have good projects. If you have experience working with cloud technologies, put that. If you've worked with cloud technologies in your projects, then put that as well. And if you've worked with Docker, Kubernetes, or if you have skills of them, then put that here as well. That is also going to give you an edge. And of course, apart from that, you know the drill, put any one programming language that is important. Here you can put Java, Python. They haven't mentioned any preference. So you can put any programming language, but you need to show that you have expertise in any one programming language. Okay. So form your resume like this and definitely you'll have a good chance at getting shortlisted. Now, if you want to go down the route of referral, you can do that as well. Just make sure that your resume is proper and make sure that you're asking the right way in the referral message. And if you want a dedicated video about this, about how to ask for referral, then make sure to put a comment and I'll be making a dedicated video about how to ask for referrals the right way. But here you have the option. You can ask for referrals. If you want, you have the option of doing that here as well. Now, 
after you get shortlisted after you go through the resume and you basically apply then the next part is of course going to be the interviews now the interviews at motorola are not going to be too difficult it is going to be more about the skills it is going to be more about your resume and the projects so what i will be doing as usual i will be putting a lot of interview experiences in the description box so i'll be giving interview experiences of recent candidates or recent employees who have appeared for the interview from there you'll be getting to know about the interview process what all you can expect so you can prepare accordingly and along with that will be the resources on how you can prepare for it basically that's pretty much it this is a great opportunity for all of you guys looking for an internship so make sure that you apply asap the link to apply is in the description box if you have any doubt let me know in the comments and watch out for the next video i have a lot of upcoming opportunities so stay tuned